Okay, good morning vlog world. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today is gonna be a pretty chill fun day. I'm just gonna do a quick get ready with me. I'll probably just uh, speed through this because it's gonna be uh, my basic everyday makeup routine. Um, I'm going to get lunch with Rena today and then we're gonna I think shop around Soho a little bit. Uh, I'm trying not to say um as much in this video. I didn't really like think ahead of time about what I was gonna say but basically I have to turn on my AC because it is actually randomly a really warm day today. I was gonna say um. I'm trying not to. So that's not much better. <laughs> I had CrossFit this morning. I'm meeting Rena at a dim sum place at like 1.30 and so I'm really excited. She's like my go-to person when I want to have like Asian food because she's also half Asian like me. Um, I said it again. I can't do this without saying um. Oh, it's crazy. Anyway, so my laundry's going right now. I'm just going to quickly do this while uh, it's in the washer and then I'll go down and change it out. But like I said, I'm going to turn my AC on so that you guys don't have to hear it. I will just speed through this process. All right, peace out. See you in a little bit. Seven waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. Drinks in my visa, anywhere you wanna go, baby, you just let me know. Sunny Indonesia, don't say no. Sipping on tequila, anything you wanna see, be there in a heartbeat. Just say the words and we can go. We've got just one. finished makeup um it's really simple since i didn't really talk through it i will link everything and list everything that i use down below this is literally my basic every single day makeup it's really quick i've got it down to a science basically and yeah so i'm gonna go change my laundry and then when we come back when my laundry's in the dryer i will do my hair and then hopefully be able to pick an outfit because I literally don't know what to wear at this point. It's one of those days. But anyway. Oh, also, I need to get better at introducing myself. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Sam. Marina's my friend. You can watch my other videos. She's been in them before. You will see her later. And yeah. Stay tuned. Bye. Okay. I just put my stuff back in the dryer. Real talk. I have 20 minutes. Do you think? Do you guys think I can do my hair in that time? We about to find out. Again, Q, speed up.
All right, I don't know how much of the last clip that actually got recorded went through. It was just me doing my hair and it's gonna be sped up, but my camera literally died as I was doing it. So hopefully it's saved, cross your fingers. Anyways, my hair has already fallen, but it just kind of gave it like a little bit of a curl at the end. So it's not like frizzy or anything like that. But this is the outfit. I'm just wearing this plain black bodycon from H&M. It was like, it's like four years old, whatever. This jacket and my, what are these, rainbows? Sorry. My rainbows and then my coach bag very simple um casual outfit and i'm leaving now to meet rena so catch up with you guys when i'm with her bye Basically, I'm like the worst at vlogging. I'm sweaty, I have to catch my breath. I literally just walked in the door. It was like 80 degrees today, for whatever reason. It's literally September 15th. Like, it needs to be fall already. This is unacceptable, and the train took forever. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I got because it was a pretty successful day. We went to dim sum which i didn't film because we were so hungry that we kind of just scarfed everything down but if you're ever in new york there's quite a few places um called dim sum palace that are really really good i highly recommend any location literally is super good but rena and i were so happy to go um we were both sitting there like we really needed this <laughs> for whatever reason we we're both in the mood um then we went to saks fifth they didn't really see anything there and then we went to lululemon also didn't really see anything there and then we went to Forever 21 because I was I was thinking they might have some sales considering like they're I guess going out of business. I'm not really sure. I think that's the news right now, but who knows? But anyway, nothing there. And then I was like, well, Je Rena wanted to find jeans, so we went to Norsham Rack, and we both ended up getting jeans. But I also ended up getting um, a black cardigan from Madewell there. And I mean, my old my other sorry, I'm sweating. Holy crap. My other black cardigan is from like H&M and it's literally pilling at the elbow so it, it needs to be retired. Um, but I got a new one for the fall so I'm really excited about that. And I got my first pair of Levi's so I wanted to show you guys. And I'm like so happy because I wasn't sure what size I'd be because I literally haven't jean shopped in so long. I just know that all my jeans are not the right size and they don't fit me and they're way too big. And the one pair of jeans I wear, I literally only wear them because they're high-waisted and then I put a belt on and you can kind of get away with it. But jeans, I feel like, are supposed to be tight enough that they are hard to get on. But when they get on, they fit you and then they tend to stretch out after a while. Like these are pretty stretchy. But anyways, I got these. They're kind of like a lighter medium wash. Um, I don't know what the style is. Hang on. The Levi Sculpt Four Way Power Stretch Sculpts and Mold. Girls, that is the key right there. Sculpt and Mold. Okay. Oh, High Rise Skinny Ankle 721. So they were, they're originally like $89.50. I got them for $49. And if you know, in New York, there's no tax on clothing items under $100. So, really great find. I'm very pleased with this. Oh, and they also have like little zippers on the ankle. And it's really hard for me for some reason to find jeans that fit me both around the waist but also lengthwise. Like I feel like when I buy jeans they're always way too long and they kind of bunch at the end. Which I feel like was in style when I was in like high school. But now it's kind of that clean cut 
you know perfect length for your leg i feel like if it's shorter it makes your leg look longer so these fit right at the ankle they don't bunch up they're super nice also if they were too long and they had the zipper i just feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't work out too well but anyway so there's that and then i got just this plain black cardigan it's really soft um it has like a slit not slit but it kind of opens on the side um so this is gonna be really nice for the winter because it gets notoriously super cold in my office even in the summer because they pump the ac but in the winter having this underneath my coat will be really really nice can never go wrong with a black cardigan am i right am i right i don't know what material this is oh it says j crew uk limited does J, J. Crew own Madewell? I had no idea. Um, it's like a polymer blend, and it says dry clean. So nice stuff, right? Okay, so that's the two things I got at Nordstrom Rack, which I'm very excited about. Then, because we were down there, so we went to Nordstrom Rack, and then we really wanted green tea ice cream so I said let's go to Chacha Macha because there's actually a Madewell down there so we could look at other stuff we ended up not going to Madewell down there but we had we went to Chacha Macha and I haven't had their soft serve before but I was blown away it was so good like the perfect rich texture and flavor of matcha um and they give you just the right amount so it's not like heavy feeling had that and then I also got their matcha lemonade highly recommend that for like a crisp um summer day Actually, it wasn't crisp. It was hot as Hell's Kitchen, so there you go. But it was really refreshing. I really like that. It's funny because I have only been to Chacha Matcha in the winter and the fall when it's, like, enclosed and you get hot drinks, but their cold drinks for the summer were super good, too. So the next thing I'm super, super, super excited about is this bag. Um, we were down in Soho and by Canal Street, so I said, Rena, let's go to Boissier, which you guys have, will see, like, the quick clips I took when I was at uh, Cha Cha Matcha, or I, didn't, I don't think I filmed Cha Cha Matcha, but at Glossier, I was super excited, so I literally just filmed stairs and like went in and wanted to try everything. So I've been wanting to go to Glossier for so long, I'm super excited. And I really like that they give you like reusable bags, like this is perfect for when you're traveling and you need to like put your liquids or your face stuff in it. But anyway, so I ended up going, I wanted to get the boy brow, which I did, I got it in brown, so I'm really excited to use this. Um, you guys have seen if you watch if you saw the beginning of this video the my everyday makeup routine I use I think the benefit eyebrow pencil um, so I like I want to see how this goes adding on top because it just it's nice to have something to kind of just set your brows in place you know because even if you put the powder and you fill them in they tend to move around anyway so then I thought I was gonna get cloud paint but I tried on several of the cloud paints and I kind of didn't really like the finish um, I get that it's supposed to be lighter and a little bit natural and sheer, but and then it's buildable as well. But when I put it on, it was almost like rubbing it in. I was like rubbing it off. Does that make sense? Like it wasn't a smooth finish. So I guess you're supposed to like pat it on, but I don't have the patience for that. So instead, I got this. I'm not gonna say this right, but vinylic lip. It's like this probably not gonna focus but you know what I'll, I'll link it down below and I got it in blow up so this is gonna be really nice I liked the finish of this it didn't feel heavy it didn't taste bad um, it was more of like a lip stain than a lipstick which is nice for like every day and it felt quite you know it didn't feel like it was sticky oh it's all right so I'm gonna unbox this for you maybe I should do like a trial of the boy brow for you guys right now like first time experience trying it out so this is what the lippy looks like. Well, people are just mad texting me right now. And you kind of like, it has like an applicator like this. Please focus. Wow. It's not gonna focus, but it's like a spongy type of applicator. And then you pump the bottom and put it on. So it's this really pretty, wow, now my AC just has to turn on. It's this really pretty mauve pink kind of color. So I'm excited to wear that for fall. Let me get my mirror so that I can do a first impression of the boy brow. You guys, we walked up and down New York today like nobody's business. 
and I was wearing flip flops. You know when you walk in flip flops for a while? I have my rainbows and they're like the most comfortable flip flop I own and I will ever own, but after a while they start to hurt, you know? So this is what the boy wear looks like. I got it in brown. And what's funny is in the store, they take off the little, the brush part of the applicator because obviously they don't want like, people using it. Oh, MG. I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. This is the one I brow and that's the one I didn't put on. Oh, I like this a lot. I like it a lot. It's like not too much. But just enough. Can you tell? Wow, I think, I feel like you can tell. That's incredible. And I just got my eyebrows threaded too, so. Great timing. Love this. Definitely excited to add that into my routine. But anyway, it's super cute in there too. They like, they have this contraption and basically you talk to, they don't have anything like on the floor. They just have the trial, the testers and stuff. So then you talk to one of their workers and they order it on the iPad for you. And then you pay their like via their iPad and um, you go to the counter and there's like a, there's like a system on the wall and they, it brings your bag down with your name on it and everything like that. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. Pretty efficient how they do it, did it. So the line was pretty much the whole block, but it only took us maybe 20 minutes to get in. And that's crazy because my coworker's sister went a couple weeks ago or like a month ago or something like that. And she said she waited in line for like two hours. So I told Rena, I was like, if I'm waiting in this line, I have to get something because God knows when the next time I'm going to have a chance to come here. I mean, it's just an experience to go in and see it because they really did it well and they have like skincare and they have all this stuff. It was pretty crowded and my clip of it is probably really, really short, but if you're in New York, I think there's one in Boston too. You should definitely go check it out. I think I still have some of the color from the lippy on. I really liked it. But anyway, so then after that, we went back to San Gennaro, which I'll have some clips of that too as well. I've never been. It was really very nice. I broke every sort of diet rule today, but I don't care. 80-20, um, right? So you do what you can during the week so that on the weekend you can go out and splurge and you don't feel bad about yourself. Um, but we had literally, our dinner was seven fifty each because we got a combo from one of the, st the street stalls and it was penne vodka and chicken parm. And it was, it was amazing. So overall, amazing day. Um, Sorry if this video is short. I kind of sucked at vlogging today, but it's literally only because we were just on a mission. Everywhere we were going, we we're just walking super fast and going to the next place and coming up with ideas. We literally didn't have a plan. We were just like, okay, let's meet here. And then we were from the next thing to the next thing. We just had a day, basically. We just had ourselves a day. And I say it was successful. But anyway, I will catch up with you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, the whole lot. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next time. But thanks for watching. Bye.